exporting MP3s and fading in GarageBand. Let's begin with a quick recap of creating an individual file from a large continuous file. We copied the section from the large file, opened a new project, and then pasted the copy section into the new project. This time, in addition to changing the measures, turning off the metronome and using meaningful labels, turn off the snap to grid under the control menu. We want to display the track volume under the track itself. Click on the little triangle in the track information on the left hand side of the main garage band window. This gives us a track volume line under our music which we can vary at any point during the song. We do that by clicking on the line to give us control points and then adjust them by dragging. What we want to do is adjust these points so we get a gentle slope that leads us into our song. We can also adjust these control points left and right once we've placed them. We can add new ones and we can delete them just by selecting them and pressing delete. When we're adjusting the volume of these control points, the movement can be a little bit jerky. We get over this by holding down the shift key. That gives us a fine tuning option which lets us go up in smaller and consecutive in in increments. Let's do the same the back end of the track to give us a fade out of the song now. As you can see I once again use the shift key to give me that fine tune that I need. What we'd like to do maybe at this point is either export the song, export it to an mp3 file anyway. We can send it to iTunes which will do that for us and put it under the iTunes. I like to have this file separate and somewhere I know where I can get it so I export the song to disk Compress using an MP3, export to disk, we name the song. I can tell it where I want it to save it now, which I'm doing. I put it in the audio files for me, and then I save it, and we're done. <laughs>